So the blockchain education here at Lehigh University started with you. How and why did you start it? Well, actually, if you want to be absolutely technical about it, I didn't start it. It started when a student, Aaron Rodham, who was class of 2018, if I'm remembering right, um, came in and said, you know, we should have a course in blockchain. Why don't we? We weren't doing anything in this space. But in response to that, I said, okay, I'll do it. So spring term 2018, I put together a course under the CSB, Computer Science and Business label, that attempted to bridge the tech side, you know, how blockchain works, what it really is, and business applications and other impact in terms of um, the real world, in terms of blockchain. I complemented the uh, presentation with a number of outside speakers and was surprised at the great number of blockchain folks who were Lehigh alumni or friends. I think most notably, the CEO of Coindesk, one of the main information and conference facilities for blockchain, Kevin Wirth, is an alumnus. He came, he actually came physically to Lehigh, showed up in the class and gave his talk, which was quite impressive star power for a first shot at a blockchain course. My name is Alec Madrakostas. I'm a senior in CSB. Uh, I've taken two blockchain electives here at Lehigh, CSE 297 and CSB 242. Um, I loved both of them. I came in with just a little bit of knowledge about cryptocurrency. And after taking both of them, I have a strong foundational of understanding about so much more than just cryptocurrency and uh, mostly how blockchain is going to apply to a variety of different industries and how it's going to shape the future. But if a student wants to go beyond the blockchain courses taught at Lehigh University, what can they do? For students in CSE and CSB, they need to do a capstone project. And we endeavor each year to get a number of partners from the outside world to offer blockchain projects. We've done three of them already in prior years. We're looking in the upcoming year, which is the 2022 calendar year, to have several projects possibly as many as six, it looks like at least four are guaranteed. And then beyond that kind of activity, there is always the possibility of independent study projects, students who might choose to stay for a master's and do work in the area. Looking beyond Lehigh for students to jobs after a degree at Lehigh and a degree that included considerable blockchain experience with our courses, well, what are we preparing them for? If you look at the collection of jobs in the blockchain space, there's really a broad range. At the lowest level, it's building the infrastructure of blockchain, the systems, the algorithms, and that's very much along the lines of the way our computer science programs work here at Lehigh. Um, at the high end, there's the use of blockchains in enterprises and in government, where one needs a decent understanding of technology but a strong understanding of the interplay between technology and business, technology and policy. Our more business-facing courses provide that training. Thank you, Leo, for coming by and doing this. I welcome the opportunity to get the word out to Lehigh students and faculty generally that there's a lot of cool stuff happening in the blockchain space at Lehigh. Courses, research, something we didn't say as much about in this introductory interview, and also students who have their own startups in this space. All fun stuff. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Professor.